welcome to junior instructor welder in today's class we will be discussing 30 questions from the topic hand tools the jaws in this type of wrench open parallel with the help of a screw thus providing suitable for all size of net these are pipe wrenches monkey wrenches socket wrenches allen wrenches so we are not familiar this kind of questions but we have to study this kind of question the answer for this is monkey wrenches which of the following types of hammer is suited is used for forming a rivet head by spreading the shank of the rivet it's a very common question most of us studied the answer is ball pin hammer there are different types of hammer ball pin hammer cross pin hammer straight pin hammer and soft hammer so our first three classification is based on the head of the hammer so, and we will be using the ball type head that's why it's called a ball pin hammer the length of the hammer handle for a 500 gram hammer should be about so the answer is 325 mm so we know the range is between 300 to 350 and they have given three answers in the range of 300 325 and 350 so the correct answer is 325 mm generally the length of a handle of a vise is for a bench vise it will be around 2.5 times the normal size of the vise the length of the handle of a vise is 2.5 times the normal size of a vise for general purpose the bench vise is fixed at the height of 106 cm that is 1 meter and 6 cm okay most of us we may be knowing that we will be working in the bench vise which is uh, up to a height which is very convenient for us to operate so we know the uh, average range is between 1 to 1.1 or 1.2 meter but they may be confusing by giving the values like 1.06 1.04 1.08 like that so the correct answer is 1.06 mm the vise clamps are used to the vise clamps are used to protect the finished surface of the job the vise clamps are used to protect the finished surface of the job while we are keeping the jobs in the workpiece the vise clamps will protecting that uh, finished surface from damage the movable jaw of a bench vise is not moving even though the spindle is turned this is due to the reason this may be experienced by many of us while we are turning or rotating the bench vise handle the movable jaw is mo not moving the main reason is the spindle pin is uh, broken the options are fixed and movable jaws are over tight if it is over tight we are not able to move that handle spring is not functioning actually there is no spring provided threads on the spindle is slightly worn out okay next the correct answer is spindle pin is broken the pin of a cross pin hammer is options angular to the handle straight to the handle cross to the handle bent towards the handle the correct answer is cross to the handle the pin of a cross pin hammer is cross to the handle the pin of a straight pin hammer if you know the answer of the previous question you can simply answer this question and still it is a straight to the handle the previous question was the pin of the cross pin hammer is cross to the handle the pin of the straight pin hammer is straight to the handle the next question the bench vise is called as parallel jaw vise because it's a very common or we can answer this question using the common sense because both the jaws fixed and immobile jaws of the bench vise is parallel to each other or the mobile jaw moves parallel to the fixed jaw okay it can the options are it can hold having parallel sided it is fixed parallel to the shop floor if the width of the jaws are parallel actually the answer is the mobile jaw moves parallel to the fixed jaw the box nut of bench vise is made of it's a very common question most of us study the material is phosphorus bonds you can expect this is a uh, most expected question the box nut of a bench vise is made up of phosphorus bonds the jaw plates of a bench vise is made up of another expected question it's most repeated question the jaw plate of a bench vise is made up of tool steel the pin vise is used for the pin vise is used for 
as from the name itself we can answer this question the pin wise is used for holding the pin they have given the options as holding odd shaped small workpiece for fixing the pin for holding the studs the correct answer is for holding the pin hand wise is used for hand wise is a very it can hold very small work so the options are fixing heavy jobs tightening nuts and bolts holding round jobs doing minute works so the correct answer is hand wise is used for doing minute work the bench wise spindle is made up of we have we have seen there is a thread cutting on the bench wise spindle so we will be using mild steel for the spindle of a bench wise due to its machinability okay the options are mild steel cast iron tool steel and bronze the correct answer is mild steel the bench wise spindle is made up of mild steel i hold hammer is option straight tapered at the handle end tapered from both ends tapered from front end as the shape of the i will be tapered to both end we can answer this question as i hold of hammer is tapered from both end i hold of a hammer is tapered from both end the shape of i is tapering to both end that's why it is called i hold hammer is tapered from both end handle of a hammer is made up of normally the handle of a hammer is made up of elastic wood wood or bamboo the options are hard wood soft wood elastic wood or bamboo plastic the normal options are elastic wood and bamboo the height of a wise top should be the height of a wise top should be 5 cm to 8 cm below the elbow height of the operator the height of the wise top should be 5 cm to 8 cm below the height of the operator below the elbow height of the operator okay which of the function is which of which is the function of pipe wise which is the function of pipe wise the grips are work for at a four point the screw is vertical mobile jaw moves vertically all of the above the correct answer is all of the above it will grip the work at four point its screw is vertical its mobile jaw moves vertically in bench wise the jaw moves parallelly in pipe wise the jaw moves vertically usually the width of the hand wise jaw is usually the width of the hand wise jaw is the it's a most expected question width of the hand wise jaw is 40 to 45 mm by experience we can answer from this option the options are 95 to 180 80 to 140 125 to 150 most of us have familiar with hand wise and they have seen the hand wise jaw it will be around 45 to 40 mm which of the following type of hammer is used for forming a rivet head by spreading the shank of the rivet which of the following types of hammers is is used for forming a rivet head by spreading the shank of the rivet this question is already we have used uh, already we have attempted in the beginning for the rivet we are using ball pin hammer as the shape of based on the shape we have ball pin hammer cross pin hammer straight pin hammer soft hammer and we are using ball pin hammer for the rivet the jaws in this type of wrench open and parallel with the help of a screw providing so it's a repeated question say monkey wrenches the length of the hammer and the handle of 100 mm gram is 325 mm generally the length of the handle wise is 2.5 times the normal size of the vise for general purpose the bench vise is fixed at 106 mm vise clamps are used to protect the finished surface of the job the mobile jaws of the bench vise is not moving because spindle pin is broken the spin of the cross pin hammer is cross the pin of a straight pin hammer is straight the bench vise is called parallel jaw because the mobile jaw moves parallel to the fixed jaw the material for box nut that is phosphorus bonds jaw plates are made up of tool steel pin wise is used for tightening pin hand wise is used for doing minute work bench wise is spindle made up of mild steel identify the tool shown in this image actually we cannot expect 
figure based question for Kerala PSC. So we are, this for just for your information. Actually, it is a box spanner. Identify the it's a length key. Identify the tool shown in the right side image. It's a cross pin hammer. Identify the tool shown in the image. It's a ring spanner. Identify the tool shown in the page. It's a offset screwdriver. Offset screwdriver. That's all for today. We'll see you with the next video. Thank you.